Hey everyone, Tim here, Silver Pascal Coda, and over in the world of Delphi at the moment, uh, on in a post on Reddit, in the Delphi subreddit, it's about uh, there's a competition going on about writing a mind mine sweeper game in Delphi. I think you have to use the latest version, and you know I'll put a link into the description below so you can read all about it. But it got me thought thinking about converting Delphi projects into um, Lazarus and how we can do that. So that is going to be the topic of today's video. Now, what I have done here is taken a Minesweeper game, um, which came out in a book by uh, Marco Cantu in Mastering Delphi 5. And uh, we've converted that project, and I'm just going to show you the steps that were involved here um, to give you a feel of how easy it can be. The other thing I want to point out is that I'm also using uh, the release candidate 3 for Lazarus 4 here and as per usual <coughs> to get to this version um, I ran the um, FP update uh, program FP Deluxe program and let's see if we can get to it actually I'll just show you what I'd selected here um, so I still have it in my downloads folder for better or worse and here we go um, basically all I had to do was to run or select I should say fixes 4.0 hit only up to, um, only install selected Lazarus version and it would then go download the new stuff compile it you know you can see what happens in the window here and bang I've got the new version so it's very very simple to use so I would recommend that if you are using Lazarus you should use this tool to make sure you've got the latest and greatest or well, even if not that, then you can you know, get use it to get earlier versions of um, Free Pascal or Lazarus. So remember about that one, boys and girls. Now, so back into the um, <coughs> back into here. So when you um, want to convert a project from Delphi into Lazarus or free and free Pascal um, well first of all we're going to need to have a um, project to work with so what we're going to do here let's go <coughs> this is the uh, mastering Delphi source code it's also available on um, github and what we're going to do here is to go into the uh, mines game space we will just go in back into here and from there let's just go into our projects area free pascal and we're just going to create a temporary folder here um, temp mines will go into there we're just going to select all these files here drop them into there and we'll go we'll close this project down we will be using it again in a moment um, so we'll save all of that and now in the project wizard here we're going to convert a Delphi project <coughs> now the first thing it's going to do it will ask us to choose what is the project that we're going to convert. So we better go back up to there, uh, down into our temp mines, and then into the mines DPR. Once you've selected the project, you then get this um, options dialog for how you want to convert it. And you've got um, the path to the project here um, whether you want it to be cross-platform or support Delphi there are some other options here and you've got these um, if you were to click on the things like the unit replacement or type replacement you can modify these as necessary 
So, I have not changed any of these settings. I'm just using the all of the defaults here. Um, although I did, ha well, I did turn on the very first time I've used this to uh, ensure that it is cross-platform. Once you've got all the settings how you want them, um, you can then click on the start conversion and depending on how many files are on the project, um, you wind up with something like this and it tells you even the messages window what happened. So here for instance, it tells me that it um, replaced Windows with uh, LCL interface, LCL type and L messages. So it also tells you what's happening, at, you know, as it does it. Um, it removed MM system because it doesn't exist. So we know now that we are using something from MM system. So that may cause a problem for us. So, so what we're going to do right now is we're just going to build build it. I would expect there to be a problem because of MM system. Um, and we'll see what happens, shall we? Okay, so this would be the um, offending line here from MM system. So we're just going to comment that one out. Start building again. Okay, and now it is um, complaining about this um, bitmap resources. So <coughs> the original being a Windows program, and we know, the, well I know, that it used uh, bitmap files for to represent the tiles, and um, they would likely to be in there. So that's going to be another you know thing we encounter in here okay so I can see where it's used here I'm pretty certain that uh, free Pascal and I can't remember its name to be honest but I'm pretty certain that um, free Pascal does have um, FPC um, resource compiler C -O -M -P. okay so um it's looking for something or some stuff here, which, uh, honestly, I'm not going to go down this road here. Um, so, I will look for an alternative way to dealing with this. So, what I'm going to do right now will be to switch to the my other project where I did make this change. You know, just bef when I say before, I had a I had a problem with um, my uh, capturing software, so I'm I'm redoing this from scratch. So, practice one, and now the final. So this is the um, let's just say the a working version of the game, and to show you what the only other change I made to the project here was to um, basically rather than loading the re rather than loading the image from a resource file I'm loading it straight from the file system here so um, basically the last parameter was from the load resource was kept and uh, will be passed up as a parameter into here and then all it all the program does then really is to if I can find it here again is to just append that code to the folder where the X is located chuck on the letters BMP on the end of the file suffix and if that image exists it gets loaded um, the only thing you need to be aware of here really is if you were to convert this, you know, um, be aware that Linux does care about, you know, case. So if I had a lowercase BMP, it would, you know, have a problem. So <clears throat> be aware of that one. When we now run this program, so we're going to run it in, run this in debug mode here, and you can see now that this is a program that was in Delphi and we are now have built it to work in Lazarus and it runs. 
So let's see if it actually does run. Okay. It does. So we can say that one will be mine, that one won't be mine, that one should be mine, that one will be mine, that one here won't be mine, that one won't be mine, and this one won't be mine. That one's touching that one, so that one's touching that one, so that one can't be mine. Uh, that one will be mine, and now we're. So the game does appear to work. I'm not bothering to go through the rest of the game. Uh... Now we're. So the game does appear to work. I'm not bothering to go through the rest of the game. Um, you should know how Minesweeper works if you have it running on Windows. So, I don't know. Is there, is there a version that runs on Linux? Um, let's see what the About box tells us, shall we? Mastering Delphi Mines. Whoa! Wonder what that happened there. Put question marks everywhere. Anyway, not quite sure what I did there, but... Anyways, that's it for this particular video. Um, like I said, there are a lot of tools which are available within the Lazarus IDE that I won't say are hidden, um, but if we don't remind ourselves that they're there, they're, they can be easily forgotten about. So in this particular case here, we were using the Delphi conversion um, function, which is available under the tools menu. Please like and subscribe and, you know, all that. Hit that notification bell so you keep up to date. But until next time, happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.